today we have like uh, another week, another day to practice Qigong together. For me, it's like um, maybe single each of you come. It's not only you come to practice for yourself, but you come to practice for your whole lineage of your family, spiritual family and love family. But at the same time, you can practice for the whole lineage for your ancestors. So today, the theme for today to practice is heal. Okay, it's heal. What does it mean? Is heal healing in yourself? Healing here is healing your body, but at the same time, healing your mind. I remember one time they taught me that um, when he himself do move his hands up, and if you his ancestor moves his hands up and when he moves his hand down and he feels his ancestor move his hands down and he feel like he's not only moving the hands but he feel it really alive that his parents his ancestor moving the hand at the same time the mother earth moving the hand at the same time and then he feel not only his body here but also his ancestor's bodies here so he feel like the whole the energy of like embracing and I feel wow when I practice like that I feel it's kind of healing in my body because I don't feel alone anymore I feel like when I healed my parents my ancestor healed at the same time okay so the healing here is not only healing individuals okay healing here is healing collective energy healing the whole community remember when you come together as a Sangha as a community you feel like you are one connected to others and others connected to you and you feel called, you feel nourished, you feel healed at the same time, you feel supported, okay? So when you breathe in, the whole family breathe in. When you breathe out, the whole family breathe out, okay? This body is miraculous things happening. You breathe in at the same time with the whole Sangha. You feel it? You are here, but actually a bunch of people in Europe breathing with you at the same time. Mm -hmm. You see, even they are in the in the afternoon. But this very moment in the Asia, people breathing the same time with you. You feel it in the East Coast, in the West Coast, in South America. So when you know how to breathe mindfully, how to move, how to practice mindfully, you feel the healing energy inside of yourself, and the healing energies around the world, your siblings, your Sangha members doing the same time. So Qigong is not only the exercise, okay? So this morning, we continue to practice each movement. You can produce energy of healing. You feel healed in your heart, but at the same time, you heal ancestor in your heart. And you feel like healed together with the whole Sangha. Open your heart to heal. Last week, the theme of um, balance, when you find yourself balance, your balance of mind and your body come together to rest and to balance yourself, yin and yang, okay? That moment actually you, you produce energy of healing. If you lose the balance in your body, you lose the healing in your body. If you lose the balance in your mind, you lose elements, energy of healing. For example, you sit a lot, you feel too stressed, you fool in your mind, and you cannot heal, you feel stress, okay? But when you know how to rest and come back to yourself, to move and to find your balance again, when you even you stop to do exercise in the morning, you, you feel alive. Where's my mind? My mind's here in the present moment. I feel truly, truly present for my body. I feel present for my ancestors. I breathe in and out. I feel truly alive. And that energy is here in heaven right away. Okay, no more running. So your mind is really present for your body and you relax. As, as long as you feel relaxing in your body, healing elements, healing energy is happening, okay? The balance energy is very important. From the balance, you go to heal. You feel balanced in your body, you feel healed in your mind and the body at the same time. You feel relaxed and then you feel healed in your mind and body, okay?